So welcome to class today and find a comfortable seat <clears throat> and close your eyes and take a few deep grounding breaths. And this reading is Let There Be Light. And it is from Mark Neffo's Book of Awakening. <clears throat> and the first quote is by Goethe. It says, just trust yourself, then you will know how to live. When Edison was discovering the light bulb, his first in, he first engaged in a process of envisioning how an unseeable current of energy could be harnessed and turned into light. Like most of us, the vision came first. Once he understood what came to him, it took quite some time to find the precise material that would work as a filament in the bulb itself. <clears throat> Later, when asked if he ever grew discouraged or thought he was wasting his time, Edison said no. He learned something important each time he tried. He learned that there was another material not to be used. The lessons here are very telling and transferable, especially to how we seek our calling in the world and how, to how we seek out love. To be willing to envision what we need is powerful and real, just as crucial is the confidence of spirit to know that it will work, even though we haven't found where we belong or whom to love yet. Equally as vital, as vital is the per perseverance in trying to find precisely what will work. But perhaps the most inspiring part of Edison's journey is how he didn't view his attempts as any type of failure on his part, but rather as an inevitable part of the process of discovery. Finally, after all of this, we are challenged, scientists and lover alike, to use what we discover and live in the light. So close your eyes and center yourself. And as you breathe, envision what you need to live more fully, and as you inhale, commit to trying to find this today without judging what happens. And as you exhale, commit to making use of whatever it is you discover. So breathing in, what is it that you need to live more fully <clears throat> so that you can feel more grounded and stable and joyful and happy. And then with your hands on your lap, just inhale, draw your chin up and exhale, gently tuck it in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck in. As you inhale, turn your, bring your head over to the left. If it's okay to go all the way back around, circle it towards the right. And flow with your breath a few times. And as you come to center, pause and then reverse your direction. And when you come around to the front again, just raise your head coming up to center, bring your arms out to your sides and inhale, draw the arms up overhead. Nice, big and tall, exhale, spread them out. <clears throat> inhale, draw it up. Imagine your light from your heart center kind of shining out through your arms, creating a nice, beautiful aura around you so that you live fully in the light. Inhale up again. This time on your exhale, twist to the right. Take your left hand to your knee, take the right hand to the side of the chair or the chair back. Inhale, reach up, stretching tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale and twist. 
Inhale, reach. Exhale and twist. One more time each side. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale and twist. Inhale up. Exhale, bring your hands on your knees and widen the knees. <clears throat> and then inhale tall, exhale. Come forward, taking your left shoulder towards your right knee and look behind you. Just be gentle with your low back. Tone the belly gently. Inhale up and exhale. Come over to the left side. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Just being mindful, exhale as you cross over to only go so far to a comfortable, gentle stretch. Inhale up, exhale, over to the right one more time. Inhale up, exhale, over to the left. Inhale up, come to center, bring the feet back in <clears throat> and then inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, take the right hand on the side of the chair, reach over, ground down that left sit bone and stretch the left fingertips along. Take a big breath here. And then on the next inhale, rise up. And exhale, take the left hand on the chair and come over to that side. Ground down the right sit bone on the chair. Reach with the right fingertips. Nice full breath. <clears throat> and then inhale up. And we'll flow a few times. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and bring your hands to heart center. <clears throat> Make sure feet are right under the knees and then find your uh, collarbones where they come together at the base of the throat. Drop down one inch with two fingers and your thumbs together and do some tapping here. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. <clears throat> stimulating the K27 point, the end point of the kidney meridian, helping to get all the energy in the meridians flowing in a positive direction. The end of that exhale, shake out the hands, bring one hand to the sternum, tap in here. Nice full breaths, really let the rib cage expand nice and full, stimulating the thymus, building our T cells, getting the immune system, working, waking up. <clears throat> As we do our energy medicine yoga, wake up. At the end of that exhale, shake out the hands. Bring them to the sides of the ribs, tapping here. Inhale again through the nose. All that breaths are exhaling out the mouth. Stimulating the end point of the spleen meridian, helping us to assimilate all the things that enter our body physically and emotionally, helping us process the food and medications and things that we digest or ingest and all of the things we emotionally ingest and go all around that triangle under the, under the breast, under the pectoral muscles. And then shake it out. Two fingers under the eyes, tapping here the beginning point of our stomach meridian, helping us feel grounded. On your exhales, really let your sit bones feel stable and grounded into your chair. On your exhale, inhales, lengthen up through the crown of your head. And then tap all the way around the eye socket, up over the brow, and then all around back down. Shake off the hands. Bring the hands on the lap, close the eyes. Just pause for a moment, observe the sensations from the tapping. <clears throat> and then open the eyes and come into a march. Tapping the same hand to the same knee. You don't have to lift your knee if you don't want to, but tone the belly so you can keep the shoulders right over the hips and then brush off the hands 
and then cross it over. Still exhaling out the mouth. Shake it off. Bring one hand in front of the other. We'll sit up tall and bring to mind what it is you feel you need to bring into your life to live a little more fully, to live in the light. And set an intention to draw that into your life today. And inhale, draw the hands up the body, flip them and exhale it out. Sending that intention out into your aura, out into the universe around you. Two more breaths like that. And then bring one finger on the belly button, one on the third eye, gently press in slightly up. Three breaths here. And then release the hands to your sides. Just pause for a moment and observe how you feel. <clears throat> And then inhale, arms up, <clears throat> turn to the left and weave your hands back and forth like you're kind of washing windows. And then inhale, draw the arms up, turn to the right, weave the hands back and forth. And then inhale, arms up to center. Exhale, weave the hands down. Bring them on the knees and let yourself fold forward. Take a big breath into the back body. Let the rib cage expand, the shoulder blades expand, the low back expand, and a nice big exhale. And then inhale, come back up. Raise the arms up overhead. And bring the hands together on the exhale. Take your right hand on top of the left hand and slide the hands to the elbows. Bring them down towards the torso and draw them from each rib across under the breast, down the sides of the body, to the hips, to the outer legs. See if you can go all the way down and bring it off of the toes, to the little toe, and then bring the fingers to the inside of the big toes, ground down the feet, draw the fingers to the ankle bone, trace up spleen, drawing them up to the knee, up the inner thigh to the hip point and then up over the armpit to the spleen point. And then inhale, the arms up. Take the left hand now on top of the right and draw the hands towards the elbows. Bring the arms down to the body, so you're kind of hugging yourself. Draw them across the body, down the sides to the hips. Trace them down the outer leg and off the little pinky toe. Then bring them to the inside of the big toe and trace up spleen. So come to the ankle bone, up the inner calf, to the inner knee, inner thigh, to the hip point, up over the armpit to the spleen point. Nice. Beautiful. <clears throat> and then inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the hands on the knees. Let yourself come forward. Take another big breath, supporting yourself on the knees. Big exhale. And then inhale and rise up. Bring your hands onto the chair, tone the belly. Inhale, bring the right leg out in front of you and circle the foot. And then circle it the other direction, keeping the shoulders right over the hips. You're sitting up tall, you're not using the chair back. And then lower that foot down, bring up the left foot and circle the foot. And then circle it the other way. And lower it down. Inhale, bring up the right arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach over. Use that left hand to support you. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, bring up the left arm. Exhale, tone the belly, cross it over and reach. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, weak 
Feed the hands down, bring them onto the knees, let yourself fold forward, let the head bow down if that's okay on the low back, take a full breath. Big exhale, inhale and rise up. <clears throat> bring the hands onto the chair, tone the belly, shoulders right over the hips, inhale, bring out the right leg, flex the foot and circle the heel. Make some nice circles here. So they're not huge, but the movement is all coming from the hip. Keep the belly toned. You're gonna to start to feel it in the quad here and circle the other way. And lower that foot down, come back to center, tone the belly, lengthen up. A lot of times you have a tendency to lean back. So you wanna set yourself back up again, stretch out the left leg, flex the foot, and with the heel, make some nice circles. Moving from the hip. Keep breathing, <laughs> don't hold your breath. And then reverse that direction of the circle. Stay with it, even though you can start to feel it in the quad building some strength and then lower that foot down. Inhale, bring up the right arm. Exhale, tone the belly, cross it over and reach. <clears throat> Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up, exhale down. <clears throat> Inhale, bring up the left arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, bring both arms up overhead. Exhale, weave the hands down. Bring the hands on the knees, let yourself fold forward. You can either keep the hands on the knees or if you want, you can bring your hands to the tops of your feet. Take a big breath into the back body and let yourself exhale, let the neck relax. If your hands are at your feet, trace up spleen. If they're on your knees, just push into the knees and inhale and draw up. Come on up. And then exhale, bring the hands to the sides. <clears throat> inhale, bring your right leg out. Exhale, touch, tap the knee. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, bring out the left leg. Exhale, cross it over, tap the knee or shin or ankle. Inhale, reach, exhale down. Inhale, the right leg, exhale, cross. Inhale, open, exhale down. Inhale, left leg, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right leg, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left leg, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then inhale, drop the right arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open. <clears throat> exhale, reach over to the side. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, cross it, inhale, open, exhale and reach. Inhale up, both arms, exhale, weave the hands down, hands on the knees, exhale, let yourself fold forward. You can keep the hands right here on the knees for support, or if you want, you can bring them down to the feet. Take a big breath in and exhale, let the neck relax. And then inhale, come on up. If your hands are at the feet, you can trace up spleen as you come up. Nice. <clears throat> and then bring your hands out in front of you, tone the belly. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist to the right. Like you're holding a big beach ball. Draw that right side in to help with the twist. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Keep your spine nice and tall. Inhale to center, like you're just spinning right around it as you exhale to the left. So not letting it bend either way, just twisting. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. 
Inhale, center, exhale, left. One more time each side. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, raise the arms up. And exhale, twist gently to the right. Take your left hand on the knee. Inhale up, exhale, twist gently to the left. Inhale up, exhale, weave your hands down. Hands on the knees, let yourself fold forward. Just for a quick breath. And then push into the knees and inhale and rise up. <clears throat> Walk your feet out a little bit and bring your sit bones kind of closer to the edge of the chair. So now your feet are a little bit in front of the knees. You're grounding them down. And you're going to bring your arms out in front of you, tone the belly. On your exhale, lean back, but ground the feet into the mat. Don't let them come up or into the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tone the belly, draw the shoulders down the back as you lean back. Inhale up. You're going to feel it in the low belly. Try to avoid letting the low belly arch as you go back. Inhale up. Exhale, drawing in the navel, inhale up, helping to build that strength and that power to bring in whatever it is you want to bring into your life so you can live more fully and live in the light. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up. And then just bring the feet back in under the knees. You can lower the hands. You're going to inhale, right arm up. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up, exhale down. <clears throat> inhale, left arm up. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice. <clears throat> Widen your feet a little bit <clears throat> and keep your right hand on the chair and stretch your right leg out. Raise up the left arm. Inhale and stretch. And as you exhale, bring the elbow towards the knee, tone the belly. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, draw the navel to the spine. Inhale, and it's okay if you can't get the elbow quite to the knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two more times, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And then lower that down, come back to your center. Feet are still a little bit wide, turned out. Bring the left leg out, hold onto the chair with the left hand, raise up the right hand. Inhale, <clears throat> exhale, draw the elbow to the knee, tone the belly, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, and exhale. Nice. Come back to center. <clears throat> Inhale, bring up the right arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach the side. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, bring up the left and exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open. Exhale and reach. Inhale up, exhale down. <clears throat> nice. Now, take <clears throat> so your, bring your sit bones up closer to the edge again and take your hands on the sides of the chair. And maybe you even kind of rest your elbows on the chair back if you can. Draw the shoulders down your back. Tone the belly and see if you can lift the feet off the mat just a little bit and lower them down. So you're really drawing the belly and don't let the belly arch or the back arch lift them up lower them down. So you're using the chair for some support, toning that low belly, draw the knees up, lower them down. Draw them up, keep a tall crown of the head, lower down. Let's do two more. 
lift up, lower down. One more time. Nice, lower down, excellent. Come back up. Now have the feet hip distance apart and parallel. Bring the hands out in front of you this time, shoulders down your back. Draw the belly in, push into the heels and lift your bottom off the seat and then lower it down. So you might need the heels a little bit back behind the knees, but don't let the knees go in front of the toes. Push down into the heels, come up and then lower down. Push into the heels, draw the belly in, lower it down, rise up, lower down. And so we're just pausing for just a moment in that little bit of a squat, lower it down, come back up and lower down. One more time, come up and then lower down, nice. <clears throat> now, turn to the left side of your chair, have your left thigh on the chair, let your right knee drop down. So you're on the ball of the foot and your hips are square to the side. You're holding on with your left hand to the back of your chair and you decide here, first what you wanna do is draw the belly and lengthen the tailbone. You decide how far back you wanna stretch that leg. It's gonna open up the hip flexor here that we've just been working and it's fine if straight down is where you want it to be but as you do you want to really push into the ball of that right foot and stretch the heel back even if you're right down low here if you give a little pressure you're going to open that up so be gentle here draw the shoulders down your back bring your right arm up and make sure that your left foot is planted on the mat so if you're short like me you need to be forward enough so that the Heel is on the mat. And then raise up if you feel comfortable, that left hand. Breathe in here and see if you can stretch that right heel back just a little bit more. Breathing into it, into this crescent lunge. Spread the fingertips, circle the hands as you're reaching up and circle the hands the other direction and then flick your fingers, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky, and then flick all your fingers a couple times. And then exhale, turn towards your chair back. See if you can take the left hand on the chair back, maybe reach the right hand to the side of the chair back in a twist here. Taking a few breaths, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, just explore if there's a little more depth in the twist. And then come back to center and turn yourself the other direction. So now your right thigh is on the chair. You're gonna lower the left knee, hold on with the right hand. And again, this is fine. You can see right here. First wanna draw the navel into the spine and lengthen the low back. Keep that there and then see if you want to step that left foot back a little more to open it up. You're on the ball of the foot. Again, make sure this right foot is right under the knee and it's planted firmly on the mat. So if you have to move yourself forward more, go ahead and do that. Draw the feet down and towards each other and then raise up the left arm. And then if you feel stable, see if you can raise up the right arm here. In the supported lunge and then circle the hands again and circle them the other way. And then flick your fingers one at a time off the thumb and then flick all the fingers a couple times. And then exhale, twist to the right, right hand on the chair back, left hand, see if you can reach the side of the chair or maybe just your thigh, your knee, looking over the shoulder, inhale, lengthen with each breath, exhale, see if there's a little more depth in the twist. And then come back to center and then come up to standing. And we are going to turn the chair so it is facing, the seat is facing you, okay? <clears throat> and you're gonna inhale the arms up, exhale, weave the hands down, bring them onto the chair, and then inhale, step your right foot back, into a lunge. So move your left knee close to the chair and keep that right hand on the chair and raise your left arm up. 
Okay, so you're in a little lunge twist, your right leg, you're on the ball of the foot. Circle your hand up here and circle the hand the other way. We're just doing the hand above the shoulder. Flick each finger one at a time and then flick all the fingers. And then exhale, take your hand down by your hip and then circle it out in front of you. You're doing nice big circles, go nice and slow, follow your breath. One more time and then bring your hand onto the chair and then see if you can weight into the hands, tone the belly and bring the feet back together so you're in a little bit of a plank position and then push back to a downward dog. Bend the knees a little bit, let the shoulders come forward here. And then on the next inhale, come forward to that plank again. And then walk your feet forward, ground down the feet and inhale, rise up. Arms up overhead, exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, weave the hands down, bring them onto the chair. Step the left foot to the knees, excuse me, right foot to the knees close to the chair. Step the left foot back. Find your lunge position so your hips are square to the mat. Keep the left hand on the chair this time. Reach the right arm up and circle that hand. Circle it the other way. Flick the fingers one at a time. Then flick all the fingers a few times. Exhale, circle your hand down behind you and inhale, reach it up. Exhale it back. Inhale it up. Exhale back. Inhale up. And then this time as you bring it down, bring it onto the chair and weight into your hands, tone the belly. See if you can put weight onto that left foot and step the right foot back to meet it so you're in a plank. And then push back to bring your heels on the mat, bend the knees and come into a supported variation of downward dog. Take a big breath, let the neck relax. Inhale, come forward to a plank, tone the belly, and then walk your feet forward, ground down. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, weave the hands down back and forth. Bring them onto the chair back. Step the left knee close to the chair. Step the right foot back and spin the heel so that your foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Keep the right hand on the chair. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm confusing you. Left hand on the chair, stack your shoulders and reach long. So now we're in a variation of extended side angle. So your left knee is towards the chair, your left hand on the chair, right foot stepped back and reaching long with the right hand. Turn your palm of that right hand up to the sky and exhale, circle it around behind you as best you can. And in front of you as you inhale, try to keep the palm facing up, flip it as you come forward and flow with your breath. Do that one more time and bring the hand behind you, palm facing up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Turn your gaze up to the sky. Take a big breath into that left side of the rib cage. And then flick your fingers one at a time off of the thumb, flick all the fingers. And then as you exhale, weave your hand back down to the chair. Spin yourself so you're facing the chair and your shoulders are right over your hands. Tone your belly. See if you can step the left foot back into a plank. And maybe you have to take a couple steps to get it there. And then shift the weight onto your feet, onto the heels, bend the knees a little, let the shoulders come down, draw the shoulders towards down the back. Take a big breath here. Both palms are on the chair in a supported downward dog. And then inhale forward to a plank again, tone the belly, hold here for a moment. And then walk your feet forward, ground down the feet. Inhale, rise up, arms up overhead. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, weave the hands down. And then this time, step the right knee towards the chair. Step the left foot back and spin your heel so the foot is parallel to the back of your mat. You keep the right hand on the chair and raise the left arm up above your shoulder and reach it long over the chair back. So you're grounding down with that left foot. You're reaching through the left side. Turn the palm up to the sky. And on your exhale, draw the hand behind you. Circle it out in front. Try to keep the palm facing up to the ceiling as best you can. Just opening up that shoulder. Circle around one more time. And meet with the hand behind the shoulder, palm facing up. Turn your gaze up. Take a big breath into the left side of the rib cage, and then flick each finger once off the thumb, and then flick all the fingers a few times, and then weave the hand down, coming onto the chair. Spin yourself so now you're on the ball of the left foot. Your weight is in that left foot and on the hands, tone the belly so you can step your right foot back. And then bend the knees and come into a supported downward dog. So bend the knees and lengthen out the back, lengthen the tailbone, tone the belly gently, take a full breath. And then inhale, come forward to a plank. Walk the feet forward, ground down the feet, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, weave the hands down. Bring them onto the chair. Walk your feet back so that they're under the hips and your shoulders are right over the wrists. And bend the knees a little, let the belly drop, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, push into the hands and feet, draw the belly into the spine. Slow with your breath here. Rounding the back, pushing into the hands and feet. Try to make the movement of the spine nice and fluid. And then come to a neutral spine and tone the belly, lengthen the tailbone. Again, the shoulders are right over the wrist and the hips are right over the feet. Bring your left leg straight behind you, turn the toes down, try to level the hips. And if you feel stable here, see if you can bring the right hand out in front of you. Maybe you just rest it on the chair back with your thumb facing up. Maybe you can hover it over the chair back. Your right leg just has a little micro bend, so you're not hyperextending that knee. Reach long here, finding that balance. And again, it's totally fine to keep both hands on the chair or have one hand on the chair back to, to help you balance. Lower that down and then come to center, pedal out the feet a little bit. <clears throat> Find your center again, tone the belly, lengthen the spine. Bring the right leg straight behind you, turn the toes down. Try to level the hips. Often we, when we lift this leg, we might try to lift that right hip, try to level it, and then see if you can bring the left arm out. It's fine to keep it on the chair for balance, or maybe you can bring it to the chair back, or maybe you can hover it over the chair back or to the side of the chair, depending on the height of your chair. Breathe in here. And then lower that down. Come back to center, pedal out the feet a little. Keep the hands on the chair and bring the left leg straight behind you. Turn the toes down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest, round the back a little, tone the belly. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it back. One more time. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it back. Lower the foot down, ground the feet. Inhale, arms up overhead, reach them high. Circle the hands over your head. Circle them the other way. Flick all the fingers. 
And then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, weave the hands down, forward fold. Bring the hands onto the chair and tone the belly, lengthen the spine, bring the right leg straight behind you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw the knee into the chest, tone the belly. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch it out and then lower it down. Ground down with the feet. Inhale, arms up overhead. Reach up high. Circle the hands. <clears throat> Circle them the other way. Flick the fingers one at a time. Flick all the fingers. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thanks. Grounding down with the feet. Having the feet hip distance apart and parallel. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take your left arm behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the right arm behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, the left arm behind you. Inhale up. Exhale, the right arm behind you. Inhale up. One more time each side. Exhale, the right arm back. Inhale up. Exhale, the left arm back. Inhale up, exhale, hands to heart center. Now take your chair and turn it around so you have the chair back facing you. And come close to the chair. Roll the shoulders down your back, have your feet hip distance apart and parallel. And then come up onto the balls of your feet and slowly lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Okay. <clears throat> Take your right foot and move it a little closer to the chair. Step your left foot back so it's parallel to the back of the mat. See if you can line up the arch and the arch. If that is too much, I mean, arch and the heel. If that's too much opening, line up the heel and the heel. Most important is that your knee of your right foot is over the ankle and that you can see the big toe to the inside of the knee. We wanna avoid letting the knee roll in. Imagine the energy from your inner thigh coming over the leg down into the outer part of your foot and from your back leg wrapping around, grounding down into your heel. So the legs are kind of spiraling opposite directions and you're drawing the energy, the feet together. Take the right hand out over your, excuse me, left hand out, <laughs> confusing myself today, over the left leg. Make sure, just take a look back that it's there. Turn your gaze in front of the chair and see if you can raise your hand up coming into your warrior two. Feel that strength and power in your warrior two. Feel how gravity wants to pull your arms down, but really stretch through the fingertips and bring back to your mind what you were thinking in the beginning. What do you need to bring into your life to live more fully so you can live in the light and shine your brightest? Feel that strength and power in your warrior two. Feel that. If you're feeling stable here, Try closing your eyes for a moment and just really feel into how this pose feels in the body. Breathing here. If you feel unstable, please open your eyes or hold on. You can also close your eyes and just hold on with your front hand. Nice. And then straighten the front leg. Open the eyes now. Straighten the front leg. Shift the hips a little bit so your knee turns towards the toes and put a little more pressure on the ball of the foot than the heel. Your leg is straight, but not blocked. And you have an option to either take your hand on the forearm onto the chair back, or you can reach down to the chair, raise up tall in triangle pose here. Draw the shoulders down the back. We have a tendency to want to roll them forward. Draw them down the back. Lengthen the crown of the head away from the hips here. Breathing into your triangle.
And then just take your top arm and reach it long, really stretching out that side body, trying to keep the shoulder stacked. You're reaching over the chair now. Nice big breath. And inhale and rise up. Turn yourself towards the chair and work your feet back together. With the chair, hands on the chair, walk both feet back, keep the hips over the feet, let the shoulders come down, the chest come down towards the mat, but draw the shoulders away from the ears. Let the neck relax, take a big breath here. And then walk yourself forward to the chair. This time take the left knee close to the chair, step the right foot back parallel to the back of the mat, line up the heel and the arch or the heels and heels. Most important, your knee is over the ankle, not in front of it. So have a wide enough stance so you can do that. And you can see that big toe is lined up to the inside of the knee. Take your right hand out over your right leg, spread the fingertips wide, turn your gaze in front of the chair. And if you're feeling stable, raise up your hand here. Spread the fingers wide. Imagine that spiraling action of the legs where the front thigh, the energy is coming from the inner thigh over the thigh, down over the outside of the knee, down to the outer edge of the foot. And the back leg is spiraling in and down towards the heel. And then draw the feet together, lengthen up through the spine. And you have the choice here to just hold here, feeling that strength in the pose. Or if you want, try closing the eyes for a moment. Feel free to put your hand on the chair before you close your eyes if you're feeling a little unstable. And just feel the strength and power in this pose, knowing that you have the power within you to bring into your life what you want. And then straighten your front leg and let the hips shift a little off so that the knee can turn towards the toes. Take either your forearm on the chair back or take your hand down onto the chair seat. Stack your shoulders and reach your right arm long. Coming into your triangle, ground down with that back foot, tone the belly, reach your head away from the hips, spread the fingers wide here. And then reach the arm over the chair, stacking the shoulders, ground down that back foot, really stretch. Bend the front knee a little and bring your hands onto the chair back, spin yourself towards the chair, walk the feet together, and then walk the feet back, coming into your supported downward dog again. Tone the belly, really lengthen through the tailbone. Feel free to have bend in the knees, that's okay. We're really going for lengthening the low back, opening up the shoulders here. And then take the right arm down to the mat, look under the shoulder, take a few breaths here, and a little gentle twist. Nice big inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And then bring the right hand back up on the exhale, take the left hand down, look under the right arm. Take a few breaths here, exhaling out the mouth. And then bring that hand back up onto the chair and then walk yourself forward to the chair. Turn the chair so that you can come back to sitting on it. Sit yourself down, widen out the knees, have the knees and toes in line. Inhale, raise up the left arm and exhale. Use that right arm to support you as you fold over. Inhale up, take the left arm on the leg, reach over. And maybe your elbow doesn't come all the way down, that's okay, you can inhale up. Just flow with your breath a few times. One more time, going to both sides. And then come back to center. Bring the legs towards each other and scoot yourself back into your seat a little bit. <clears throat> and lift up both feet and point and flex the feet, roll the ankles around, roll them the other way, and then lower them down. And then take the heels of your hands and give a little massage back and forth all over your thighs.
And then take the hands and do some, see if you can do some figure eights around the knees. Just kind of draw on figure eights. And if it's confusing to do both hands at once, you could do one at a time. And then see if you can, it can be very confusing to try to reverse that direction of your figure eight. But try it anyway, and then release. And then take your hands one hand at a time and clear the gates on that hand. So go from the wrist, massage briefly down between the bones and pinch off the web between each finger. Do one hand first. And after you go between the bones, you're gonna go down each bone from the wrist down to the end of the finger and kind of pinch off the end of the finger. And if you feel a tender spot, just take a little extra moment, give it a little extra massage there. And these different points are associated with the different end or beginning points of different meridians. And so your thumb is associated with lung, your index finger with large intestine your middle finger with circulation sex, your ring finger with triple warmer, our fight or flight response, the pinky to the inside is heart and the outside is small intestine. And then go ahead and do, once you've done one side, you can go and do the other hand. And it doesn't matter whether you do thumb to pinky or pinky to thumb side, it's really a matter of preference, whatever works feels better for you. And once you've done the hands, just pause for a moment with your hands, palms up and just observe the energy in the hands and just how it feels after doing that little massage, clearing of the gates. It's kind of in energy medicine yoga considered like opening up the pathways or kind of getting the energy started ramping up kind of like the entrance and exit ramps on the interstate and then take one hand and give some gentle massage from the wrist up to the elbow and just massaging that whole forearm And then around elbow joint. And if your elbows bother you, go ahead and do a couple figure eights there, maybe. And then massage up the upper arm to the shoulder. And really get into the back of the shoulder. Draw that reach and draw it forward. And then shake off that hand and go and do the opposite arm. Same thing, kind of massaging up the forearm all around it. If you feel a little tender spot, give a little extra moment there. And then do a little figure eight on the back of the elbow. And then massage the upper arm, <clears throat> coming right up into the shoulder. And then into the back of the shoulder, really reaching in and massaging and drawing that forward. And then shake off the hands and massage up the neck a little bit. And really get into the base of the skull there, the occipital lobe. And shake the hands off and bring them, line them up along the forehead and draw them out to the temples two or three times, smoothing across the forehead. Take the index fingers along the bridge of the nose and draw them along the bridge of the nose, along the eye sockets. Let your sit bones get heavy as you sit here in your seat. Then bring the fingers to the joint of your jaw and gently massage there and massage down the whole jaw to the chin. And then do the upper lip a little bit from the nose down to the lip. And then from the jaw, draw down the neck to the collarbones. And then don't forget your ears. Give your ears a little bit of a massage. We forget about them. Massaging all around the ear and the earlobe. 
And then release the hands on the lap so you can let the palms rest up to the sky. But if that's not comfortable, turn them down. Just want to be comfortable. And bring your attention to your breath. Drawing the energy into your heart center and exhaling it out. On your inhale, count the breath in without having to extend it. Just notice what a normal full breath is. And then make the exhale the same length. And once their breath has evened, bring to mind that intention you set at the beginning of class. What is it that you want to bring more of into your life so that you, what do you need to live more fully, to live more in the light? And then bring the mantra to mind, the power is within me. And with each inhale, Repeat that mantra, the power is within me. Do three more breaths, repeating that mantra. And then on your next inhale, bring to mind what it is you wanna bring into your life and draw your hands to your heart center and hold the breath in for a moment. And then on your exhale, reach the arms up to the sky, spread the fingertips, gently tilt your gaze up to the sky and slowly open your eyes, raise your cheekbones, keep the hands up here, breathing, drawing in that energy from the universe, down the arms into the heart center to set that intention in to your heart and draw the energy from the universe to help you make that come to fruition. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Gently bow the chin, honoring yourself for showing up today to give yourself the time to take care of yourself. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in class today. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you back again soon.